So, why am I standing in this really long line? Because I'm going to the beach truck. <laughs> so excited. So, these peaches are tree ripe peaches. They're still firm. Wow, they're still cold. Um, so it's going to take them a few days to actually ripen to the point that you can eat them. I'm going to spread them out. And according to Farmer's Almanac, next weekend um, is peach canning. Perfect weather. So next weekend, look at these guys. I am going to be canning peaches. Good morning, YouTube family. I'm going to do something today that I've never done before. I'm going to can peaches. I went to the peach truck and I bought 75 pounds of tree fresh peaches straight from the orchard. Um, I've never done this before and it was really hard to find some of the stuff I needed. So canning jars were probably the hardest thing to find. I ended up paying a little more than had I planned ahead. Uh, I already had a giant stock pot so that's what I'll be using. I've bought the complete book, the ball complete book of home canning so we will be following recipes out of there reading glasses are here which I lose four or five times a day and I bought a set of ball canning utensils so this should be fun the other thing that I have um, are peaches lots and lots of peaches so um, let's get started What I have going right now is I weighed out 17 pounds of peaches, which is where we'll start. And then um, before I start on the peaches, I'm actually prepping my jars. I've got uh, the rings heating here and uh, the lids are in the, that pan, jars in this pan, glasses on, cookbook ready. And then we'll get to peeling peaches. So there has to be some trick that I'm missing. Um, there's an organization about canning that I just don't get yet um, and hopefully it'll somewhere in the 75 pounds of peaches it'll come to me. Um, <laughs> I've washed the jars and the lids and I've uh, got the jars in the oven and I'm reading the recipes and I'm thinking okay what do I do first? Because if I peel and slice all the peaches before I make the, the syrup or the brine then they start turning brown. How do you put 17 pounds of sliced peaches and keep them fresh? So I've got four cups of water and I'm going to add ball fresh fruit produce protector. That way as I boil and peel and slice then I can put them in the water and hopefully I'll be doing that at the same time that I have all of the brine going. So, and I'm not sure. There's no instructions as far as like how much to mix. And I googled it as I do everything. And it said, it said add two tablespoons for three tablespoons of water. Um, and I didn't want to stand here and count that long. <laughs> so... I'm doing four cups of water and five ounces of fruit fresh. But this is just the first batch, so if it doesn't work, I can always adjust on the next one. Can't be afraid to get it wrong or you'd never do it in the first place. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to start this water, pot of water, and get it boiling. It's ready. When that starts to boil, Peaches go in for 30 seconds to 60 seconds, so up to a minute, uh, and they should be able, and then dunk them into ice water. And then I think at the same time, I am actually going to start making the syrup. So for fruits in syrup, according to the ball book of canning, a heavy syrup would be four and a quarter cups. It's equal parts, four and a quarter sugar, four and a quarter water, equals seven cups. Let's give that a try. Why not? <laughs> it says 
not to stir it with a metal utensil, so I will stir it with my spatula. And we will just keep this on low until just until the sugar dissolves. I'm going to cut a, a small X with my paring knife. Put these in the water. Now these peaches are actually almost too ripe. I was trying to hold out until this weekend because according to the Farmer's Almanac, this weekend is the perfect moon if you cook if you can by the moon this weekend is the perfect weekend for canning so I'm about four days early hopefully it won't be that big a deal um, and if it goes bad for my first time I can always blame it on the moon <laughs> Leave it in the cold water just a little longer. It seemed to come right off. Right off. Now let's see how hard it is to pit them. And put it in the fruit fresh. Okay, so. Alright, well let's see if we get better with number two. Moving right along. Okay, well this is going to take me hours and... Uh, We'll get back to you in a little bit. Okay, so peeling them is actually getting a little bit easier now. Um, I've got my first cup is full, so I'm gonna start transferring those into jars, ladle it, and then back to peeling, and we'll see how this goes. So, I think the smart thing to do here is pull out a couple jars. Well, let's see if I have enough peaches done to do three jars. Well, if this is a success, I'm definitely going to need a bigger kitchen. <laughs> so, according to the recipe, I'm going to put these... Uh, these actually came out really pretty. So, you want to go to about... Uh, a half inch space on the jar and then the next step would be to ladle our syrup and it says not to use anything metallic so okay so now that you can see what I'm doing I'm taking the peach tabs that we've already skinned and soaked in the fruit fresh I'm putting them in the jars hot jars and I'm putting them with their uh, pit side down. And then take my plastic ladle. Just enough to cover the peaches. These are, did turn out quite pretty though. Did turn out very pretty. All right, let's peel some more peaches. So when you first start off doing peaches, can it, never canned anything before. Don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gung-ho, let's go, and I'm being very careful, and I'm measuring everything, and I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do with the peaches. Well, 75 pounds of peaches, five hours, six hours later, and I'm maybe halfway through. 
you become like the guy at the hash house, you know, you're like, order up, peaches, no problem, syrup, you want syrup on that, ship it out, take it out, order up, it just like, it just gets messy, and you, I mean, everything sticky, and you don't care, you just keep going, yeah, sling everything out the window, fill in those jars, kind of like, Half inch headspace, oh, you're almost measuring it when you start. Halfway through, you're like, eh, half inch, quarter inch, it's all good. Eighth inch, I'm still there. It's not spilling out of the jar, so it must be okay to put the lid on. <laughs> oh, peaches. All right, I'm done. Spent nine hours in the kitchen doing the peach process. Hey, tomorrow, same song, second verse. We'll start over and finish it up. Probably going to try a couple new recipes, make some peach rum sauce. Stay tuned. Okay, so to wrap up the peaches, I bought the peaches through a company called The Peach Truck. Every year, they do a tour. It is an orchard in Georgia growing uh, heirloom, heritage-style peaches, uh, not the imposter peach you pick up at the grocery store. These peaches actually have flavor and they're very juicy and they, you can just taste the difference. They pick them fresh from the tree and then they put them in the truck and they make a delivery. So within hours from the tree to you. Check it out. I'll put a link to their website down below. So if you want to get peaches, good peaches, look them up. I ended up getting 36 uh, 36 pints of peaches and nine quarts and then I made a peach rum sauce for ice cream toppings and I got one pound of frozen peaches as well as a handful of fresh peaches that we just ate so it took two days to process everything it got so messy and being my first time um, probably didn't make it a lot of easier trying to film it while I was actually doing it and learning it. But all in all, I think it turned out really well. Um, satisfied with the product, we actually opened a jar of peaches. They all sealed. I did not lose one jar that did not have a good seal on it. So that was a plus. If you have suggestions, <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to be trying next. I think I'm going to be I liked it so much, I'm going to be investing in a pressure canner, and I think I'm going to try to pressure can green beans. So, anyway, I've got peaches enough to last me till next year. Thanks for watching, and if you like me, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more <laughs> trial and error, just subscribe so you'll be notified. Ring the bell. Thanks, and have a great day.